Good morning from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Brad Smith and you're watching Behind the Bell. As many of you may have seen here on some of the broadcast networks or even here on Facebook Live to commemorate the launch of its new brand campaign, See the Advantage. FactSet rang the opening bell to officially kick off the trading day and to discuss some of the great work and initiatives at the company. We're joined by their chief executive officer, Phil Snow. Phil, great to have you here today. Thank you for having me, Brad. How was it ringing the opening bell? It was really team? awesome for the team. You know, it's uh, a lot of great energy. We have a great company. We're not that well known a brand in some circles, so it's a uh, thrill to be here talking to you. Which is surprising, especially when we think about the financial services industry yeah. and how many clients you have in this broader sector. Yeah, we're as well. probably one of the best kept secrets in the market. We've had outstanding <laughs> performance over the Year. and within our industry we're known well but uh, not by the broader community absolutely so your new brand statement is see the advantage how do you help clients see those advantages and seize the opportunity right sure now so we do it through a really fantastic combination of technology content service and analytics uh, and we service you know our clients needs and the investment management and banking space all the way from research to portfolio management and trading to risk and analytics and client reporting uh, I'll give you a couple of good examples. Yeah. You know, we've now developed over the years a true multi-asset class risk product. The clients in our industry are very concerned with risk. You know, how are their positions? How are they performing? We provide a fantastic suite of tools for them to analyze that and communicate the story to their clients. Hmm. Uh, we're also starting to use things like machine learning and artificial intelligence within our product to create predictive analytics. Uh, so we have a really great execution management system. Uh, and we use artificial intelligence to intelligently route trades for our clients so they can get the best execution. Absolutely. Now, why is innovation so important? I mean, clearly you're already weaving some of that in with machine intelligence and artificial intelligence yeah. and making sure that you're integrating that into your existing technology, um, especially now in the financial data and analytics industry. Why is this all so important? Innovation is so important. It's really a competitive industry and all of the clients are, you know, looking to outperform the markets. Sure. Um, you know, I ask our clients all the time, what is your greatest challenge? Mm. Uh, our mission is to solve our clients' greatest challenges. And the answer that I hear more often than not now is just the sheer amount of data that our clients are trying to sift through mm -hmm. uh, to find intelligence, find ideas. That's in some ways their biggest challenges. And that's what we've done fantastically for 40 years. We have probably the best integrated um, set of content in the markets that we get from third parties, our clients right. and the data that we collect so we have a platform from them from which they can really search right. uh, in very creative ways either through quantitative back testing or just security analysis to look for ideas absolutely there's so much talk about big data small data at the end of the day you just need to be able to harness and tell the correct story to make sure you're going back to the customer correctly a right? absolutely yeah S certainly so how has facts that evolved over 40 years in this industry and and the history of the company sure i, I would put that into three buckets okay uh, we created some revolutionary functionality back in the 80s so we were, we were in the cloud before it was cool to be in the <laughs> cloud essentially um, so we had a hosted environment uh, we had a, a, all of the integrated data up there, and we had some data that allowed people to screen through the data and then download it into Excel. We were really the first, uh, we were the first company to get data from a mainframe mm -hmm. uh, into a spreadsheet for our industry, and that was a great productivity wow. enhancement. The second phase, I would say, was driven by our portfolio analytics suite. So I talked about the risk uh, product that we have. Uh, but we created some groundbreaking functionality for portfolio analytics mm -hmm. uh, in the 90s, and that's driven a lot of our growth up to this point. Uh, and now we're, we're sort of in a new environment um, where we've invested a tremendous amount uh, in our back end. So we have state-of-the-art technology. Uh, we have a more open platform, mm -hmm. and we now have solutions for our clients, um, as I mentioned earlier, all the way from research, portfolio management, and trading through to client reporting. Absolutely. Now, what are some of the key trends that you're seeing in terms of where the industry is moving right now, where you're seeing data really harnessed from your systems, where sure. you're seeing traders access the most kind of touch points and, and critical market movements, um, yeah. if you will? So, so I would certainly say that our industry is under some pressure mm -hmm. um, from a cost standpoint. So we notice that our clients need to be more efficient. Right. Uh, there's a backdrop of a regulatory burden. So we've always been a productivity tool for our clients. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's so those are the trends we're seeing uh, the need for more transparency um, you know the wealth manager of today is going to be the different than the wealth manager 
of 20 years ago. Right. Uh, so we're really trying to evolve as a company to meet the needs of, of the industry today. And a lot of technology companies, as we see them kind of evolve and grow themselves, uh, you know, they kind of go after some of the smaller companies um, and, and seize that innovation and bring that on internally. Mm -hmm. Has that been the case here, or has it been primarily organic with your team at Faxed? We have a very innovative culture at yeah. Faxed. So uh, we've made some great acquisitions recently around Amazing. workflow. Yeah. And when we, when we do acquisitions, we're typically looking for companies that have the same culture as us, and we typically retain the talent. So we've grown some great talent internally, but we've also got some new faces joining the company. Absolutely, and, and tons of great talent uh, out there when we think about some of the young entrepreneurs yeah. as well. Yeah. For some of the young entrepreneurs getting into the industry, what mm -hmm. advice would you give them? So that's a great question, and I'm going to answer that by join Faxet. Okay. Like I said, we are, we are one of the uh, it's a hidden gems in our industry. Yeah. Uh, if, you're in, if you're interested in finance and technology, mm -hmm. fintech, we've already built a state-of-the-art uh, technology stack. We have all the content you need, and Factset is a great place to bring your vision to life. Uh, we, we repeatedly win awards for best places to work all over the world. Uh, so that's the best piece of advice I could give any entrepreneur is come join our company. Absolutely. What does an accolade like that mean to you in the business, especially as you look to it's, build it? It's uh, one of the most important things. You know, when, as a CEO, one of the things that I'm... Uh, very focused on is our culture, uh, making sure that we're doing everything we can in terms of diversity and inclusion, that we're a good corporate citizen, and that we create an environment where young people can come and they can look and see that they can have a career for years to come. Absolutely. Phil, great to have you here after the NASDAQ opening bell. Certainly look forward to more great things to come from the FactSet team. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah. And thank all of you for watching live on Facebook. Stay tuned for more to come throughout the rest of the day. That was great. Thank you. Yeah.